<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Edmunds Racing Preview Show. Toby and Trent are back to bring us up to speed with all the latest news. And fellas, uh, you got the chocolates with the blues on Wednesday night. But uh, a bit of a quieter weekend on the runners front this weekend compared to, to last week. Yeah, we were pretty busy at Rocky last week. Didn't have much luck, by the way. But a few of them ran well. Indy Dream was really good in the cup. He just couldn't. He couldn't. Um, he couldn't get the favourite or the, the the winner down and the second horse. So look, he. Um, that's the first time I've been to to on that particular day or any particular day where the three horses we thought could run well didn't run well, but they had no excuse. You know, I mean, they were ridden well. Yep. They they had every every possible chance and yep. and just weren't good enough on the day. So. That's, that's encouraging, I like that, you know, and, and they, had, they had a good dig, but they weren't good enough up there, unfortunately, over, the, over them two days, or those two days. Um, the Rocky horses went good, though. The, the boys from up there stood up, like that Graham Green trained three winners on the day. Like Jared, Jared Willow trained winner. Um, uh, who, who else trained a winner? Clinton Taylor. Clinton Taylor trained a winner. So, you know, the Rocky boys had a, had a good day, and, but Gollum was too strong in the... In the point score, in I think. The, uh, yeah, the, the trainers yep. bonus. And, uh, mate, you got a little boost with the Blues? Something? Oh, one winner for the week's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was good to watch. Yeah, it's a bit of a dead rubber, but it was good It was good that they won. Um, it was actually a pretty good atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like for, for what was a dead rubber. Yeah, dead of, rubber, yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of people 75, there. 75,000. Was there, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's good, but it looked like they had a lot of go for the other night. 5-8 made a big difference, I reckon. He did. Um, Teddy was good. Maybe in his swan song, maybe. Oh, yeah. He's been under pressure, so... Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, well done, boys. Yep, well done. All right, well, let's see uh, what's happening on the runners' front of the weekend. Two runners on the, on the home track, on the folly. Iron Voodoo represents for the Sedgen Ho team and looking to go one better um, than a close-up second when resuming. A lot fitter this week, he'll be. Um, take good... Um, he's come forward nicely from his first up run, so um, it looks a nice race for him, I think. Callow's got carved up, didn't he, the other day, sort of well, softened a bit, a bit. He got a bit of pressure, you know, so that you can't control that. He's a non-speed runner, so he's going to get that, but he, he'll be a lot fitter this week and he'll give a good kick, and I think he, he looks like, to me, like he could probably, probably beat those horses tomorrow. Okay. Um, he's done well, work's been quite sharp, so here's hoping. I know, that's an early little lead in for the best bet. There's plenty of options this week. Uh, Trent, the other run, Maroon Magic, goes around again on the poly, uh, looking for win number two for the Queensland Rogues, and uh, wasn't too far away on the poly last start. She was okay without setting the world on fire. I thought she had every chance. Um, blinkers go on, which we hope will assist. She's worked in them a couple of times in between runs. She'll be on speed, so uh, just needs to do what I thought. Probably should have been a length or so closer the other day in the run. Mm -hmm. Mick got her to come back underneath him and, and that was probably... She relaxed nicely, but it was to her detriment because her position in the run wasn't as prominent as, as it should have been. Whether she would have won or not, not too sure, but we're hoping blinkers on, a little bit more positivity um, early and change of result. Well, kitchen Rug sink job. The Rogues won the Ramorny on Wednesday. Yeah, they did. Ma yeah, Martin Harley, good ride. Absolutely pants him, yep. Martin. Great yep. ride. Yeah, all the boys wanted well, to go back and ride quiet and, and all that, and he, he got away with it. So, it's a good horse, that horse. Good, good on, on speed horse. Like it ran, it beat, it ran, beat up on edge and them in the um, in the Healy, was it? Or something? The, pre the previous race. The yeah, in his previous start, yeah. yeah. So, uh, well done, the Rogues. Yeah, well, hopefully the Rogues uh, colours are saluting again on the weekend. Two celebrations yep. for the week would be good for them. Yep. Yep. All right, well. There. Hopefully she goes, she goes better than Queensland did the other night. <laughs> Maroon wow. Magic. Yeah, that's the, uh, the omen bet of the week, isn't it? Yep. Um, all right, well, they're the two runners, so no joy on the best Oh, oh my man Fatty, um, he's, he's under the bed, rang Origin Knight saying, oh, we'll smash him by 30. Oh. He's a gone. What a shit team is. That, they're picked. That never worked. How'd that go? <laughs> Good on you, Fat. Anyway. Although there was a couple of games earlier, wasn't there, in the series? Only as yeah, well, last yes, that's true. You know, they were, they were too they were too good for us. I'll give give them that. A couple of dodgy decisions. No, they got arsy in the first one. They, they got lucky in the first. They smashed them in the second, and yeah, it was a lot closer than people people thought. Like, oh, it always is, isn't it? The, that first game could have gone either way. Mm. And they pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Well, they didn't score off that forward pass, and 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 look, I don't know whether the, the first try was a try, but they give it a try. Fair yeah. enough. That 
that forward pass, that was definitely a forward pass. It was, yeah. it was two or three metres forward, you know? Yeah. I don't know why they can't call him back, but they didn't. Anyway, Fat, well done. You know what they say. If it's like he's punting. My uncle, she'd have. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So, well, so you can't tip Origin uh, because that's done and dusted. So what are you going to do on the best bets front? You, you both. Uh, I think we're going to be. We've well, only got two, two, two runners. Pretty, runners, yeah, pretty yeah. united here, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Voodoo. Yes. Win, winning. Both winning. Correct. Yep. Okay. Iron Voodoo, the best bet of the week, and um, also good to see some. Uh, Ownership opportunities during the week, and yeah. there was a good result uh, for the stable from one yes. of the yearlings you purchased at the start. Yeah, so the written tycoon. Um, token of love. Token of love. His, his three quarter brother won at um, Sydney, Ram well, in Sydney last weekend, yep. and so on the back of that, with your help, Adam, you tweeted it out or you put it all out there, and um, yeah, people jumped in really quickly. Yeah, and you there's know. a couple of other yearlings still still available. Yeah, yeah, we still got we still got the half with my runners. Um, Star, Star turned to boots. He's a really nice colt. He got he got up here the other or not last Tuesday, the Tuesday before, and we had a bit of a day for the my runners guys. They all you know twenty or thirty of them showed up, and you know we had a bit of a sausage sizzle type. Type breakfast and and he's a he's a nice cult like for a star turn big strong running type to me um, so I think you know um, keep whacking away at him we'll get him done quick enough although he's been a little slow to to and I'm not sure why but I think I think he'll get done um, you know in the next couple of weeks I reckon so if you want a piece of him jump in. Okay, well it's an exciting time with the babies, isn't it? They're yeah. about to turn two mm -hmm. shortly and uh, with that brings the end of the season and I guess we're sort of, uh, over the next few weeks we'll be wrapping up um, thoughts on the year and that sort of thing. Yep. Yes, couple, yep, yep. Couple, of, uh, couple of highlights, obviously. We should be winning the Gold Coast Premiership this year. I think we're about yeah, ten, well ten in front with a couple of meetings to go, so to make sure you... unless someone blouses in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we look to have that sewn up, which is a good achievement. Um, Metro runners have been a bit down, but that's that's the way it goes. We've just been placing the horses as best we can. And as I think Dad said the other week, strike rate's been back to a really good number this season. So um, just need a couple of better quality ones to poke their head through now. Hopefully a couple of these babies that we bought show up next year or next season. Yeah. All right, we'll sharpen up on your uh, acceptance speech ahead of that awards night for the Gold Coast Turf Club, August 31, so uh, get into that. And um, that's about it, so good luck on the weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good luck, guys. Thank you, guys.